Dun dun dun! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for another YouTube video. This is going to be our daily cryptocurrency market update. And it is a big day today, ladies and gentlemen. And people are taking their positions based on what they think is going to come out of the CPI print today for the United States, which for me is, or for everybody, taking place in around about one hour and seven minutes. Um, and is really going to set the pace for markets moving forwards. A high CPI print or higher than last time is going to be bad. A lower one, markets I think are going to find a full sense of relief from this. Um, and the cryptocurrency market is moving up today. This has a lot to do with um, range-based traders. You know, they're essentially looking at a swing failure in the kind of range that we're in. Remember, this is the long-term time frame for Bitcoin. This is a weekly chart with the Bollinger Bands on, which I'll actually take off for the purposes of this video. But essentially, what you've got right here is you've got range traders bidding this up. Ignore this trend line. This is a trend line that I'm looking at. I'm probably going to fade this move and fade these traders um, and take the opposing side of things. But it's always never a, a, a positive thing to be um, trading into a kind of huge data reveal that is going to move markets because you just don't know. You know, you don't have the data. We will look at the data. We will look at some expectations, talk about the stock market in this video go over a few of the news clips uh, and really tie and round it all off. But really the reason that Bitcoin's rallying right now um, is because you've got range traders. Everybody's become, I don't know who's kicked this off, but everybody has become a range trader now. And what you have is you have people on Twitter that are basically, you know, giving buy signals and sell signals and you've got all their followers aping in with them. So looking at this, what people are basically saying here is that this is a swing failure. And they're trying to build momentum upon it. In fact, you could even bring this further back. They're essentially trying to build momentum off of this move. They're calling this a swing failure. We didn't manage to break. We haven't managed to put in a new high. Ultimately, I'm going to fade this. So I think this is going to go lower. I think the CPI number is going to come out probably hotter. That seems to be the general consensus. Um, but this is the only reason Bitcoin is moving right now. You've probably got people getting, I mean, I got stopped out of, um, I believe I got stopped out of eGold on this uh, rally here. It was a perfect entry that we got in at. Um, but ultimately, um, you know, we, we, we got stopped out. But we may look to re-enter. Very cautious sort of entering things into a CPI reveal. You've just got range traders basically bidding this up right now. For me, it's almost a cert that we get lower cryptocurrency market prices across the board eventually, even if there is a relief rally. And relief rallies often occur when everybody is overly uh, pessimistic and bearish. You do not want to be a part of the herd when there's a stampede, guys. Um, and that's what we try and teach on this channel, ultimately looking at things objectively and really paying attention to the macro kind of view of things. I, if I'm going to bias, I would say this rolls over, but it really depends on the inflation data. The inflation data is coming out around about 1.30 p.m. for the UK, um, so you'll be an hour ahead i believe for europe and uh, of course wherever else you are check it check washington time in comparison with your time comes out around about 8 30 a.m for washington that's what about 1 30 p.m for the uk and there's lots of stuff going around at the moment um you know june inflation estimates this is bmp um essentially looking at higher print city group looking at higher print hsbc which is a big bank for the uk looking at a higher print for the us td goldman sachs barclays credit suisse None of these are particularly low. They're all higher than the prior one, if not the same. And this is the general consensus around about 8.8. .8. So I think people are literally just looking at this as a swing failure and trying to bid it up um, and hoping that it, it, it counts. I've also seen lots of um, memes on Twitter talking about the fact that the Chinese or the Asian market is getting a bid or had a slight bid. It's not of real strength. Yesterday was a, a kind of tricky day for trading because we got the open for the NASDAQ and the S&P. And I, I was saying to my uh, Patreon members, um, in my Discord that essentially it wasn't a strong enough close or a strong enough open to get bullish. And I ultimately said, look, the problem that you've got is even though it's gathering a little bit of momentum and might be in the green now, wait until close of the US market because people will not hold their positions overnight. And what you've got to remember here is that the CPI data comes out before the US market is even open. The futures market's open and that's in the green, but that's kind of... You know, and, and crypto is very much taking relief from this. But that's, I think, going to be short-lived. I could be totally wrong. If we get a lower print, expect markets to find some sort of relief. The eventuality with that, though, is that it fades. Um, and I think the US equity market, if the macro conditions continue in the direction that they are going in, 
we are going to see significantly lower prices. If you look at dollar liquidity, which is one of the main ones, I mean, you're just rinse and repeating here, guys. From here, basically. Depending on how you want to draw this. Look at what you're doing here. You're just very, very nicely support and resistance flipping. This was something I found interesting on Twitter. This was from Mac10. Um, suburban drone. Talking about, you know, this is CPI print and this is what happens. And that this is, you know, probably going to roll again. Uh, and this is related to Bitcoin, not the, the, the equity market. But I think the equity market, if we get that print, is going to open pretty darn negatively. I'm in two minds whether it's a position before the CPI print or not, um, but I'm going to make that call my Patreon members um, in regards to day trading. But we'll see. I, th I think this is going to be a real interesting event that's going to take place. But you can see you're very much, you know, doing a similar thing here. You come down. You find you you create that sort of level of resistance. You come up back into the prior uh, level of support. Sorry, and then you fold. You're doing the same thing. Are you going to do the same thing? And is the CPI print going to be the thing that causes that catalyst? Remember, this is the S&P, NASDAQ, very similar. Um, ultimately, we've said for a while now that we look at the weekly chart for the NASDAQ. And, you know, we see this rolling, essentially. We see this rolling like a 2008 or, or, or March, um, sorry, um, 2000s.com crash kind of scenario. That's what we see. That is not a good look for the cryptocurrency market in any way, shape or form. So it's going to be a very interesting day. Again, if we get a higher print, that's going to be very negative. If we get a lower print, markets may find some short-term relief and we'll look to fade that later on down the line. The issue you've got is we haven't really had much of a relief rally. And relief rallies typically will occur in these kind of environments where everybody's extremely bearish. Um, and, and, you know, it, it's annoying me. I mean, I'm seeing that the whole of Twitter has actually turned into perma bears. Don't get me wrong, we've been bearish since 40 40 plus K, right about here. Um, but I don't like being on the side of everybody else. Um, that sounds horrible. Um, but that's just, you know, I'm, I, I think if everybody's looking at the same thing, then it, it, it's, you know, that's when you have really, really steep rallies occur. Uh, but I, I'm not betting on that just simply because of the kind of macro trend that we're in. It's very much a downtrend. If you look at your, all your indicators, and we've just got a couple up here. We've got the money flow index, the accumulate distributor index, and we've got the demand index. Um, some of these are oscillators. Some of these are um, indicators. You always want to pair an, an oscillator with an indicator. There's no divergences here on the bullish side. On the weekly, on the daily, um, you haven't really got any divergences whatsoever to suggest, certainly on your oscillators, that you know, you're looking at downside here. Um, or you're looking at upside, you're looking at reversal here, I don't think. And I think this is just going to play out similarly. And we've said this from day one, guys. This is why you should follow this channel. You know, that you're essentially going to play out in a similar fashion to this. Um, and this is what we're essentially doing. And removing all these draws very quickly, dropping down to the four hourly. I'll tell you one reason I'm looking to fade this. <clears throat> And it really does depend on the CPI print, but maybe I take a small position into the, into the print. You've broken this trend line. You've textbook come back and retested it. Bad CPI print. This rolls. These guys trying to bid the price of Bitcoin up right now based on a, a swing failure on a range, not understanding that, you know, there's, there's other factors at play here. You know, TA absolutely works. There's no question about it. And the charts will tell you the news before you get the news. This is not a strong rally. Um, this is not people know what the CPI is going to be in a position accordingly. You can tell that based on your volume, which is basically non-existent right now. So I think this fades, and I think people are just getting optimistic here. And you've got a number of people on Twitter that have got huge accounts that are eventually telling, basically telling people to bid this up, probably so that they can you know squeeze them a little bit, which is neither here nor there. You've got to respect somebody's hustle, but if that's the kind of hustle you've got, you know it's not. It's not. You know, I don't have that kind of influence. Um, so we'll see. It's going to be a very, very interesting day. News is very much, you know, I think we had the um, French um, are on the second stage of their stablecoin digital euro uh, testing, which is going to be interesting, although I'm not sure you want to hold euros right now. Uh, I think the euro is in big trouble. Uh, we've said this for a long time. Crypto needs regulation. Technology can't remove all financial risk. Bank of England, uh, Cunliffe. Size. 
I agree with this. I think crypto does need regulation. I just think I'm just praying that they don't regulate it too hard. And I think regulation is actually going to be the gateway to further adoption. Stock futures tick higher with all eyes on June's inflation report. Doesn't make a great deal of sense why stocks are ticking higher. Uh, I think they're just, you know, you again, you've got people trying to bid this up and, and try and take the counter trend, but they will cut this. They will cut those trades so fast if you get a bad print because it really, you know, reaffirms the, the direction that we're heading in. Consumer inflation is expected to have been even hotter in June, but it could be peaking. So I think we'll probably get a lower print in the next one. Oil. Spoke about oil the other day on my Twitter. And so many people ask me, why is oil coming down? I'll tell you, because the US is dumping it. The US government has opened up their reserves and is dumping oil. That's why you've had this down move for oil. So you've had the US government try to plummet, and I think rightfully so because oil is ridiculously high, the price of oil by dumping on it and opening up their reserves. That doesn't last forever. The issues haven't gone away. We're not going to get lots more oil supply come online, certainly whilst the situation that we have um, going on at the moment persists. I think we've given you enough in that update, guys. If you've enjoyed this content, a like is always appreciated. So is a comment. Quick summary. We've got the CPI print at half one, 1 p 1.30 p.m. UK time. It's 8 30 a.m. Washington time. So just look that up. Uh, this is going to be huge. This is going to move markets undoubtedly. I'm biased towards this gets faded. Um, and I think this up move for crypto right now is very much led by crypto Twitter and, you know, your range traders trying to bid this up and look at this as a swing failure and ultimately um, try and get behind it. Problem you've got is when the um, bigger situation takes hold, doesn't you, you they'll they'll get out of those positions fast as fast as they got into them if not faster whilst they're still a little bit of profits all i've got for you in this video guys if you enjoyed the content like always appreciate it so comment and i'll catch each and every one of you in the next youtube video thanks a lot for watching see you in the next one